Hi, welcome to the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint a Stormcast Liberator. Okay, so I've base coated the gold using Citadel Retributor Armour. And now what we're going to do is use Citadel Agrax Earth Shade to shade up that gold. Now I have painted a slow time tutorial on how to paint the gold for the Stormcast. So I'll link that below and I'll put a link to it at the end of the video as well. When we come back, we'll have all the Grax Earth Shade finished. Right, now that the shade's dry, we're just going to use Citadel Retributor Armour. I'm going to use that to just bring out the gold again. Now you want to be trying to put the gold in places where the light is going to catch it, because you're going to highlight these areas in a little bit. When we come back, we'll have all the Retributor armour done. Now we're just going to be using Citadel Liberator Gold. I'm going to use that to highlight the Retributor armour. When we come back, we'll have all the Liberator Gold finished. We've just added a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Steel to the Liberator Gold, and we're just going to do one final highlight to really bring the gold shine out. When we come back, we'll have all the highlights done. With the gold all finished, we're now going to use Citadel Cantor Blue. I'm going to do all the blues on the model. When we come back, we'll have all the blue done. The next thing that we're going to do is use a little bit of Drachen Hoffmite shade, and that's just to shade all the blue areas. When we come back, we'll have all the Drachen Half Night Shade finished. With the shade dry, we're now going to be using Citadel Cantor Blue just to reapply some of the colour around where it's shaded, remembering to leave some of the shade around the edges.
when we come back we'll have all the blue done. With the blue done we've now added a little bit of white to the Cantor blue and we're just going to do highlights on all of the blue sections. When we come back we'll have this highlight finished. Just add a little bit more white to the mix and we're just going to do another highlight onto the blue. When we come back we'll have all this highlight done. Next we'll be using Citadel Lead Belcher. We're going to be doing the tabard down the front here and this hammer and a few of the little details. When we come back, all the lead belcher will be finished. Now we're just going to use a little bit of Citadel Null Oil. We're going to use that to do all the lead belcher parts. Like so. Next I'm just going to be using Vallejo Black, that's just to do some of the joints between his armour and some of the smaller details too. When we come back all the black will be finished. Next I'm going to be using Vallejo German Grey which is a very very dark grey I find it ideal for highlighting black because it doesn't stand out too much but it does make you aware of the highlight. Like so. Now with the black finish we're returning to the lead belcher and we're just going to highlight some of the areas that we shaded earlier. When we come back all the lead belts will be finished. The final thing we're going to use is a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Steel and that's just to highlight the hammer.
When we come back we'll have all of a layer model air steel finished. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Ricard flesh. I'm going to use that just to do the ribbon hanging off his belt. Like so. Next we're going to add some seraphim sepia to the ribbon, that should bring out the details. Like so. Now we're just going to use a little bit of citadel on my fist on red to do the handles on his knife and also on his hammer. like so. Next we're just going to be using Citadel Drucci Violet and that's just to shade the red. Like so. Now we're just going to be using Ricard Flesh again. I'm just going to re-highlight that ribbon. When we come back we'll have all the Rakarth flesh finished. Now I've just had a little bit of white to the Rakarth flesh, I'm just going to give this one little highlight. Like so. Now we're just going to reapply some of the Mephisto on red. That's just going to bring the colour back out on the sword and the hammer. Like so. The final thing left to do is using white and we're just going to be doing all the lightning bolts on his armour. All you'll find when you're doing the white is that it might dry a little bit streaky. All you need to do on that is go over it, give it a second coat, that should sort out any streaks. If not, just keep going until you've got rid of all the streaks so it's a nice brilliant white colour. When we come back we'll have all the white finished. Okay now we're just going to do the Stormcast lightning bolt on his shoulder. Now when you're doing these it's quite easy to make a mistake. So if you do make a mistake don't be afraid to just repaint that blue on the shoulder pad and crack on again. You can just about see the lightning bolt that I tried to paint moments ago. Um, so we'll just try and give this another go. Like so. 
Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.